Hey, hey, hey. All right. I know my trailer analysis is coming, but I think I might have figured out the story for side order. And it has to do with a returning character. I'm pretty hyped about this. There's quite a bit of evidence backing it. But without wasting any time, I think the story of side order is that Captain Tartar from Octo Expansion is back and he is controlling Marina like he did with Callie to help him further his goal. Because we know in Splatoon 1, Kali lost the final Splatfest, so we teamed up with Marie to help save Kali. And same thing holds true with Splatoon 2, Marina lost the final Splatfest, so we're teaming up with Pearl to help save Marina. And Captain Tartar can fit into this pretty well. So, the entirety of Side Order is obviously based off of Team Order from Splatoon 2, the final Splatfest. Everything is all orderly. But if you pay attention throughout the trailer, everything seems kind of like technological and digital based. Almost as if we're in a simulation. Now there's many different points throughout the trailer to show this. Like there's this one screenshot, this one frame of our Octoling spawning in, which is Agent 8, by the way, confirmed by Deadfish. But see, this room has all of this code, and then even when we get some upgrades, there's these like l light strings all around the weapons and our character, as well as when we're respawning or first spawning into a level, our body kind of materializes and then the soul floats into the body. So it all looks like a simulation. Which would make Captain Tartar fit in even better. So to give some backstory on who Captain Tartar is. So he started sanitizing Octarians because he felt individuality would lead to war and that would only be more disaster. So if he could sanitize all of the Octarians, none of them would have their own individuality and it would be one big group of mindless drones basically at his control. And how that all ties in the side order is that he is an AI. Meaning, he's, it's digital in and of itself. Now, he was, I don't know, trapped in that telephone, but he was in that telephone, but it's an AI. AIs are digital, artificial intelligence, they're all digital and simulated. So, side order being in like a simulated universe, I guess, would make a lot of sense. So, Captain Tartar could very well be at the top of the spire of order overlooking everything and is the reason for everything happening inside order and he could be using marina to help him he could have maybe sanitized marina maybe in a different way or somehow mind controlled her or whatever to have her help him uh with his motives help him push his objective forward that's why we haven't seen marina and it would make sense given the track record that splatoon has had with the whole cali thing as well and then we have to save Marina. So, and we never actually see Captain Tartar die. At the end of Octo Expansion, um, we see him there malfunctioning, but he we never actually see him die. The statue that he was controlling uh, explodes. But a common rule in video games is if you don't actually see the character die, nine times out of 10, they're not actually dead. And also, fun fact, you can actually still see that very same statue in the ocean in Hammerhead. So, I'm not sure where this takes place in the timeline, but probably has to be sometime after 
Splatoon 2, right? So, Captain Tartar very well could still be alive, and even some of the structures in the Spire of Order kind of look a little bit like the telephone that Captain Tartar used. And even the boss we see at the end of the, the end of the trailer kind of resembles him. Those faces with the eyes moving around and everything kind of resemble Captain Tartar. So our goal for side order could be to make it to the top of the Spire of Order to save Marina and stop Captain Tartar once and for all. And a couple things about that as well. In Octo Expansion, he was sanitizing Octarians to kind of like use as an army, blend them together to push his goals forward. But given if side order is a digital, like a digital simulation, then he is creating these fish, these new fish enemy we see, which also kind of look like toys, like they're plastic toys and not actual organic living uh, fish which would make sense. Um, maybe he decided to just create his own, his own army per se, because with the Octarians, there was a chance of them becoming sentient again and learning about sanitization and kind of turning on him or refusing to be sanitized as with Deadfish. Maybe Deadfish helped Octarians and like kind of pushed the meshes like, hey, don't get sanitized and it actually makes sense for Deadfish to be here considering Captain Tartar was the one who sanitized her and we know she's not fully sanitized so she still has some of her her sanity and her personality so Deadfish being here makes sense because she's also trying to stop Captain Tartar from maybe sanitizing more Octarians or just to stop him from his evil plans considering he did sanitize her and basically took her life per se almost took her life and like all of her character and personality so she's working with us to help stop captain tartar who is also having marina mind controlled that's why we haven't seen marina anywhere and why she hasn't really ever been mentioned except by dead fish post recording interjection we also see what seems to be mem cakes being produced in the factory as we know, mem cakes are a thing from Octo Expansion, and they are the repressed memories of the Octarians that were sanitized. So seeing mem cakes here kind of also strengthens the theory that this is Tartar, and he might also still be trying to experiment or sanitize Octarians as well as trying out this new army of fish, I guess. Something, quick little detail I wanted to mention to kind of help corroborate the theory. And the reason he's creating these like fish enemies are to wipe out the Inkling and Octoling uh, races naturally since he hates them. So he would obviously want to get rid of them and kind of build his own species to pass down the humanity's knowledge and everything down to create his own species that he thinks is fit for the knowledge and continuing the legacy of humanity. That's why he's creating these fish to kind of wipe out everything else, wipe out the Eaklings and Octolings, and then build up his separate species. And these fish enemies are just like his army. So if he's able to tweak the code and design them how he wants them and, you know, everything to his liking, then there's really no way they will rebel against him or he'd have to worry about them breaking free like sanitized Octarians or won't have to worry about some rogue Octarian going out and helping the other dead fish. So the the story is looking insane. All right, everything side order looks amazing. We know almost nothing about the story so far, but just based on the Spire of Order and just the whole theme of side order and everything going on, it's it's, it's looking a little promising. All right. It's, it kind of makes sense that Captain Tartar would be back and he's using Marina, mind controlling her. Maybe he's having her create these fish enemies to attack um, Inkopolis because we see Inkopolis is full of uh, dead coral and it's all just kind of barren. We don't see any Octolings or Inklings anywhere. So maybe he is starting to kill them off or he's got them locked up, imprisoned somewhere or maybe they just fled the city 
and his influence is starting to spread throughout, you know, the Splatlands. Something. But I have a feeling that Captain Tartar is going to be the main antagonist for Side Order and not Marina. But Marina is going to be helping him because he mind controlled her, sanitized or whatever, you know, taking control of her. So I, I think it's a pretty cool theory. All right. We, uh, we have absolutely no clue if it's right or wrong since we know almost nothing about Side Order. I'm pretty certain we might get at least one more trailer before Side Order actually drops in spring of next year. You might get a story trailer or an over something. But I am going to be covering the gameplay and doing my trailer analysis sometime soon. I just wanted to get this video out first because I think it's pretty wild. But yeah, Captain Tartar's back, and he's using Marina to help him. So, I mean, it would make sense. He never really truly got to fulfill his plans. So, and of course, he'd be vengeful towards Octarians, like Octolings and Inklings. So he's going to stop at no cost to make sure his dreams are fulfilled, to see his visions um, seen through. So... This very well could be that as well. So I don't know, we'll, we'll have to wait and find out, but I think this is a pretty cool theory and you know, it holds some kind of weight. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments because as far as I've thought it through, I don't really see how this couldn't be the case. It's probably not the case, but it very well could be. It's very possible because it kind of all makes sense once you really think about it. But if there's anything I missed, some like important crucial details to debunk or even help co um, corroborate this theory, then please let me know because I am very excited to what Side Order has. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. So play some goddamn Slatty.